So, Keith, what exactly is Standard Life Aberdeen doing in order to, A, you know, ensure yourself, if I can put it like that, against what's happening in the global, you know, financial markets specifically, and B, potentially take advantage if that's even possible? Well, I mean, uh, at a company level, we're standing here with a very, very strong balance sheet and a high level of financial resilience, which I think, um, you know, serves us well and puts us in uh, in good stead. And, you know, one of the things that as a really long-term investor we try to do is the deeper the crisis the, 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 uh, and uh, the calmer we try to be. So spending an awful lot of time uh, looking around for quality stocks, uh, opportunities that are emerging where uh, clearly uh, the prospect of return is uh, is at an extreme. And, and I think the other thing um, we're looking to work out uh, is, is by talking to our clients, actually make sure we can satisfy their needs because you know, the, this, these levels of economic activity, these levels of volatility, these levels of interest rates, um, client demands are changing and are going to be changing, uh, I think, quite dramatically to relative to what they've wanted in the past uh, in the past five years. So one of the things I think is opening up is, is, a, um, is, is a huge opportunity for active investors. Do you think that, that moment is finally here? Why do you think that is going to be the case, Keith? I, uh, active managers, uh, in, in some ways, um, are, are going to struggle as the market kind of gets whipped around all over the place, uh, certainly at the moment, uh, and it's going to be really hard to, to not get stopped out of positions. I kind of, at what point do you think active kicks back in again? Uh, I think uh, active starts to kick back in uh, you know, uh, li literally, as we as we speak, guy. And you know, if I look back and just take a step back from where we are, and you think about 17, 18, 19, 20, that has been a roller coaster in terms of investment return. And if all you've done is ridden the beta, uh, the volatility in that. Uh, that's not been a that's not been a great place to be. So I think by active, I don't think it's just about outperforming a benchmark. It's about delivering outcome orientated solutions and looking to dampen the volatility that is clearly uh, clearly with us. And it's it, it's thinking about the impact of that volatility on the income returns that we deliver for people that are retiring and also, uh, you know, minimizing uh, the risk per unit of capital on some of the large insurance and pension fund balance sheets. So um, I, th I think, you know, there is, there is opportunity. And I do think that, that new active will, uh, will have, its, have its day and uh, will show that it can deliver good returns over the medium term.